Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, we're gonna talk about Coal Fire right now. Coal Fire is one of our longest partners here at Chicago Pizza Tours. It's one of the very first places uh, I ever called on. Now they opened in 2007 and I remember, you know, going there maybe a year later or so and just being blown away by how this pizza tasted and how different it was from anything I had in Chicago growing up. Uh, I'm born and raised uh, and I never had anything that tasted quite like that. So um, when I was starting the Chicago Pizza Tours, one of the first things I did was go to Coal Fire and say, hey, listen, I've got these places signed up uh, and I'd really like to have you be part of our tour as well. The truth of the matter is I didn't have any places signed up. I wanted to get them first. I thought it would make for a really good stop on our Chicago Pizza Tour because it's just so different from all the other places. And it's off the beaten path in one of the neighborhoods. The neighborhood you're in is the, called the West Town neighborhood. It's not too far from the United Center where the, uh, the Bulls and the Blackhawks play. So anyways, Coal Fire started in 2007, and the way I actually saw it was I was driving down Grand Avenue, and you could just see this fire in the window. They've got this beautiful oven. It's placed strategically directly in front of the door towards the back. And the reason for that is the shape of the oven is like that of an igloo. If you were to strip away the exterior of it, the shape of the stones inside there uh, look like an igloo. And it only has one door in the front there, and that's lined up perfectly with the door to the building. So every time somebody opens that door, it gives a fresh waft of air and it brings the air into there and kind of circulates it around through that oven. Now, it's important to note that the reason that that oven is shaped like an igloo is to get like a kind of a convection going. So once that air blows through there, the fire is all built towards the back there. And it just kind of stokes the flames and keeps the air temperature circulating throughout there. Now, this is without a doubt one of the hottest ovens in Chicago. They're burning coal inside of it. So temperatures are going to hit around 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is extremely hot. Cooks the pizza in less than three minutes. On average, it really only takes about two minutes to cook the pizza. But the most important temperature zone inside of that oven are the bottom stones. The bottom stones are going to be anywhere between 700 to 850 degrees. Now, when your pizziola uh, cooks your pizza, what they're gonna do is they're gonna stretch out the dough, dress it up, get it all set, slide that into the oven, and they're gonna let it sit there for about 30 seconds or so. After 30 seconds, they're gonna grab their pizza peel, get underneath it, pull that pizza back to the front, turn it, and set it back down on the same stones. And the reason they do it that way is because the fire is built towards the back there. So that's gonna cook the outer edges of your pizza a little bit faster than the parts that still face in the front. That's why they've gotta turn it. And the reason they put it back on the same stones is because even though uh, the stones are 800 degrees or so, once you put that dough on there, it's gonna cool them down just a little bit. And what the pizziola is basically doing is he's trying to bake the bottom of the pizza but not overcook it while the toppings are being baked by the air that's flowing around in there. He's gonna keep checking the bottom of it. Once he realizes that the bottom of that pizza is done, he's able to take his pizza peel and hold it up towards the top. It's what we call doming that pizza. That air is, like I said, around 1200 degrees, so that's just gonna finish everything off. And they're gonna slide out that pizza, slice it up, put it in a box, and uh, I guess bring it out to your limo. So that's pretty much Coal Fire's oven in a nut. Um, just to tell you a little bit about the ingredients, this is a classic Italian style pizza, but what they did at Coal Fire was they did sort of an American take on it. Um, so none of the ingredients they're using are from Italy. They're using their flour. It's from a company called King Arthur, which has been making flour uh, out of Vermont since before Vermont was a state. Uh, their cheese, they're gonna get it from our neighbors to the north, Wisconsin. Some of the best cheese in the world comes from Wisconsin. Uh, and also for their, the tomatoes for their sauce, they're getting those from a, a central to northern California area in the Modesto region. Uh, it's a great Mediterranean climate for growing tomatoes. Uh, you basically have the Sierra Nevada mountains there that bring in the cool air from the ocean comes in, the, the mountains then trap that air so it's like hot as can be during the day and really, really nice and cool at night. It's an incredible area for growing tomatoes and time and temperature are really the, the, the key enemies to flavoring tomatoes. They make sure they can those tomatoes quickly uh, and the recipe here at Coal Fire for, for their tomato sauce isn't a whole lot to it. It's just using good tomatoes, adding a little bit of salt, some oil. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as like the ingredients that they're gonna use to top your pizzas, 
um, Dave from Coal Fire has really made this push uh, since about 2014 to really get involved with uh, some of the local farmers. He's using farms from like Harvard, Illinois and Central Illinois to provide all of their, their peppers and, and other items that they use on these pizzas. A lot of the stuff is super fresh. A lot of the meats actually come from a place across the street from them. Um, so they're kind of keeping everything local. It's, uh, like I said, the pizza has Italian influences to it. It's been Americanized and it's really uh, a great Illinois and Chicago representation of that pizza. I really hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call or text me. Thanks so much.